So uh, my name is Dave Duncan, and I look after our DLP Cinema business, the business manager for DLP Cinema, large venue in our TV space. Um, first off, Peter, welcome to Texas Instruments. So you're sitting in, in DLP Cinema's uh, demonstration theater. Uh, DLP is a division of Texas Instruments, one of many divisions of TI. So I understand all those projectors I was looking at today outside, the small ones and the big ones and the big cinema ones, they all use the same basic technology. Is that correct? The That's correct. And so I'm holding up now the, um, the DLP Cinema 2K chip. We say 2K because this chip is 2048 by um, 1080 rows of resolution. Um, there are millions, in this case over two millions of micromirrors in what appears to be just a solid silver surface here. That chip technology is used, scaled either larger pixels, smaller pixels, more or less of them for all of the different products that we make here. And really the difference between a low resolution chip and a higher resolution chip is either the size of the package, which means we can put more mirrors in, in, a, in, a, in a given area, or in a larger area, I'm sorry, or if we shrink the mirrors, as in the case of the brand new 4K chip, which I know you're on your quest to see this week, if you look at these two, they're very, very similar in size. So here we have one mirror that um, is of a certain size that allows us to put a 2K array of mirrors on this chip, and this chip we've shrunk the mirror so that we can put in relatively the same amount of surface area four times the chips. So two million mirrors in this one, eight million mirrors in this one. So um, they're pretty phenomenal um, things. To see them this close is absolutely amazing. Um, as I was coming over, I was thinking that these chips are a bit like the Maltese Cross in um, 35 mil projectors, in that you know the Maltese Cross is what makes the projector really work. Uh, certainly, modern projectors projectors and and these are really what are the center of, of a, a DLP so uh, yeah that's true at the heart of every DLP center projector and maybe I should clarify how exactly this this works so we have system architectures where you could use one DLP chip in combination with light filters that would put all three colors uh, RGB colors onto the screen but in the case of, of um, very high-end cinema projectors, we actually use three of these chips. We take the white light and we split it out into RGB, really because we're projecting on screens maybe as wide as, as 100 feet or even bigger. And so we need all the lumens that we can possibly get out of the xenon lamps. And so we actually use three of these chips. Now, fundamentally, the way they work, and it's, it's, it's very, very hard to understand this, but let me try to simplify it for you. So if you were to take a scanning electron microscope deep down inside this, this array here, you would see millions of, multi, uh, of, of microscopic mirrors. Those mirrors are capable of flipping 5,000 times per second or faster. So those mirrors, if, if this represented one mirror, they're doing this 5,000 times per second. Now let's say you wanted a nice bright white image on the screen. Well, during that 5,000 times per second, you'd flip the mirror on 5,000 times. And since it's on the entire time as light is coming in, all that light's going on the screen. Now if you want no light on the screen, you flip it off 5,000 times. And so now you have these very deep, dark black uh, uh, levels on the screen. And the difference between that bright white and black, of course, is what gives DLP Cinema Technology incredible contrast ratio. But let's say you want half white, half black. So that's a 50% that's a gray. Well, maybe you flip it on 2,500 times during that second and off 2,500 times during that second. Now you can see how we can generate shades of gray, add in the RGB color that we do with prisms, and that's how you can get the trillions of colors that we have on DLP Cinema screens. So fundamentally, it's, it's, uh, it's incredible technology microscopic mirrors, we call them MEMS devices, and this is the heart of all DLP cinema projectors. You were talking that DLPs are the heart of some of these really big projectors, um, and so they're all essentially from the same family. Mm -hmm. Why were, what, What's the difference between using a, a projector that's got DLP in it versus one that hasn't? What, why, why, what's, what's the benefit to um, you know, I guess us as the consumer and, and, and professionals alike. So let's let's start at maybe kind of a real high level. So first off, DLP cinema technology was was really created 
to go bring an experience to the the moviegoer, the the theater patron, that would be as good, if not better, than opening day of a premiere film. Um, part of the issues that exhibitors have had, and really distributors have had over the years, is that as a uh, film tends to mature throughout a, a long run, for instance, an Avatar, which was in the theaters for a very, very long time, um, a bit of degradation occurred. Natural process of, of, of film. Um, and also, sometimes those films would get recycled from maybe one screen to a play-down screen, sometimes maybe even to another theater. So we try to create uh, a technology, an all-digital technology, that would preserve the presentation so that opening day and closing day would be identical. And so that's a benefit to both the consumer, the theater goer, as well as the exhibitor, because no matter now where I put this movie in my in my multiplex, I know the quality is going to be as good as it was opening day. Now, DLP Cinema Technology was also utilized by the industry as the genesis for what we now know as DCI uh, compliance or DCI specifications. DLP cinema projectors were the projectors that were used in Hollywood to determine the very, very stringent requirements that these projectors had to meet long term to meet all of the industry requirements. Why did they do that? Well, they wanted to make sure from a consistency standpoint that customers saw the best no matter where they went if a projector the, uh, meets the DCI compliant or the DCI standards. Today, DLP cinema projectors from Barco and our other customers are the only digital cinema projectors that currently meet those standards. And those standards were very, very carefully put in place so that the benefits of, of um, digital technologies that DLP Cinema employ, such as contrast ratio, um, brightness, the color palette that we have, um, which is which is film like it in some cases beyond film, and brightness, um, uh, and all the other standards that are in the in the uh, specification, um, all those standards were there to create an experience as good as film, if not better.